Hey everyone, Casey here from Masson Labs. And in this video, we're going to be covering the Light and Area Assist, one of our new AI tools for the Vintage Slide Film Pack, which will eventually be rolled out to our other packs. But for the time being, it is just in beta in the Vintage Slide Film Pack. As you can see in front of us, I have four images that I've already done our base edit. I've gone through and done the Mastin three-step workflow, which if you're unfamiliar, search our YouTube channel. We have a ton of videos covering it, but it is to apply a preset, adjust for exposure, and correct white balance. So again, this is just a quick base edit so you can really dive into just how the Light and Area Assist tool works, some tips and tricks and best practices for you and your photos. So, okay, let's go ahead and I will move over to our first image, which I've edited with Provia. So again, I've already made those base edits. I've applied the preset, adjusted exposure, and corrected for our white balance. And let's just see what the Light and Area Assist tool does. I'll go ahead and I'll apply it. There you go. Okay, so you can see it is bringing up the exposure of the entire image just a little bit, but the bulk of what it's doing is it's balancing the background with the subject in a way that's treating your photo as if you overexposed it like it was real film. So here, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna hit Command Z to bring us back to where we were. And so that was before and after, before and after. And it is, I mean, that's one click to get to this point of this photo looking light and airy. The light and airy look can be so hard to achieve. And really the light and airy assist tool is probably one of the most powerful tools that we have, especially in these new AI tools. It does such a great job. And one of the things that makes it so powerful and all of the AI tools so powerful is this new Lightroom preset slider. So here you can see that the value is at 100. And when it goes to zero, it's almost as if, you know, the preset wasn't applied at all, nothing is happening. And as you crank it up, you know, closer and closer, it is slowly affecting itself more and more. And what this allows you to do is really dial in how you want your image, how much you want your image to be affected by this. So maybe you already have a really bright image and this is doing a really subtle job of bringing up that light and airy feel into your photo. Now it's not just changing the exposure, you know, you can't get to, can't get to this point from just bringing up your exposure. By doing this, you're lightening everything in the photo at an equivalent way, but with a light and airy assist, by bringing it here, it is softening and bringing it up again. We are creating that slightly overexposed film look that clients go absolutely crazy for. And we want it to be just as simple as clicking a button. So again, I'll come here, I'm gonna slide this back to zero just so you can see that sort of before point and I'll double click and here you go, before and after. And it is as easy as that, almost for every single image. So now that you have that in mind, how simple it is, let's move on to our next image and we'll do this again. And you can see just how powerful this is. So this image already, it feels light and airy. It's very ethereal. You have this wild bokeh in the background, which is so dreamy. And with the light and airy assist, when we click this, boom. It is upping the ante. You are instantly brought to a place where your image is even more dreamy, as if this photo couldn't get more ethereal. If we wanted to, what we can, again, do is push this even further. You can really just crank this up, and now you're at this place, and all of these highlights are being brought up slowly and gently in a very natural way that works so well for an image like this. So let's go ahead. I actually really like this at 200%. It feels bright. It feels, this feels like what a bride would absolutely freak out over if they saw. Let's bring this back to zero so you can see where we started from. Boom. So that is, I mean, again, it's, we're starting with a great photo, but from there to here, this feels, this feels like a bridal magazine cover to me. And the light and area assist tool took what? I clicked it and then I brought the slider up and that was it. Those are the changes I made after doing our basic three-step workflow. So even here, I'll hit, uh, here's our before. This is before anything was applied and to this. Again, beautiful and it took no time at all. Now let's move on to our next image. This is uh, another good photo that will work really well with that light and area assist tool. So we'll go ahead, I'm gonna apply this. Boom. And I mean, that's, it's awesome. It, it did a good job of bringing out some of this detail in the subject, in the hair, bringing up some of the shadows here. And it's just doing a really good job of balancing that overexposed film look in a way that is not destructive to your work. 
it feels nice, it feels good. So again, I'm just gonna, I applied light and area assist, and then I'm just gonna grab my slider and just, I can go back and forth and just sort of see what feels right in this photo. I think for me, a little less, yeah, maybe right around here feels good. This feels really balanced um, as far as the light goes. And it's as simple as that, easy peasy. Okay, on our last image. So here's an image that you may not think, I mean, this is dark and moody. You can see I've already brought the exposure up, almost half a stop up and it is dark. This could very easily be a dark and moody photo, but with the light and area assist, let's see what we can do. So, okay, I've gone ahead, click this, boom. It is bringing up so much. And again, it's being gentle. Um, we can crank this up a little bit more. And now it's starting to feel a little bit more of that light and area look. I think for this photo, I'm actually going to raise my exposure just a little bit more and then Maybe drop this down a little so we can regain some of that contrast. And there you go. I mean, so simple to get to this point for a photo that you may not have seen as an option for a light and airy look. Um, one last thing I might do to this photo is actually I'm going to use our lens correct. Um, and that's just to help with the vignetting and distortion. And by using that, it's one more tool to help kind of balance the overall exposure. And actually that kind of cranked up the exposure overall again. And I don't think I need that. Yeah, I mean, that looks awesome. Here's our... <laughs> ultimate before, before any of the presets, everything and after. And this just feels like such an awesome image. I would love to be able to deliver a client. I would love to be able to shoot in a place like this, but to also deliver a photo to a, a client like this. Now, one important thing with uh, our AI tools and specifically with spotlight, light and area assist and the dark and moody assist tools is they also work in conjunction to our sky safe tool. So where spotlight, light and area assist and dark and moody assist will overwrite each other, sky save will work in the background and when i apply this you can see that it's applying a gradient to this background and sort of bringing down the exposure in a realistic way like you were applying a neutral density filter or you're putting on a neutral density filter in front of your camera now we do have a video specifically on the sky save tool and sort of best uses for it but i think for this uh, yeah i don't know i think it's looking pretty good just as i apply it and that even by bringing that down it allows me to bring up the exposure of the image a little bit and just rebalance it. Maybe I'll bring this back a little bit. There we go. Awesome. And that is how easy it is to achieve these looks and how amazing the light and airy assist tool is and something that will make a difference to your work and to your clients immediately today. Um, this tool and our other AI tools are being rolled out to our other packs, but are currently only available for the Vintage Slide Film Pack beta that we're running right now. Um, so if you haven't, go get the Vintage Slide Film Pack as well. It's an amazing, versatile pack that has incredible colors. And this is what it does for these photos, and it does such a great job. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via email at support at massinlabs.com or directly through messenger at m.me forward slash massinlabs. Until next time, have a great day and happy editing. Editing.